Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Alexander and in today's video we want to take a look into the Antminer L3 Plus. We want to see if there was a different source of energy. Would it be still profitable? In today's world, solar systems are becoming a source of reliable energy and it's the best way to go to do mining. We're going to take it to a journey where I use my solar system to run this ant miner L3 Plus. If it's your first time on this channel, please remember to subscribe, like the video, remember to comment, all comments are in today's video, Bitcoin has been sky high and moving higher and higher. What that has been done to the rest of currency or cryptocurrency are making them lesser profitable. So that is why Antminer L3 Plus usually mine not profitable anymore. The more Bitcoin goes up, the more harder cryptocurrencies suffer and struggle along just to catch up with Bitcoin. The market is so saturated right now with over a thousand cryptocurrency Bitcoin is leading them out. Now I get my hands on Antminer L3 Plus which I bought one to do some experiment to see what others see. Most miners are coming out and say to throw away these things. They eat up a utility bill, they are space saver. You should use it to warm your house, you should use it to warm and here. Uh, but I say to you guys, remember you all buy these machines and you all make a bag of money of these machines. So don't come around and beating up these machines. They have done their time and they have given you their hold. Nothing wrong with it being hold. It's still profitable if you're not looking and get rich scheme part of life. So what we are talking about right now is this Ant Miner L3 Plus. It is not new, but it's one that I have an interest in. Ant Miner L3 Plus that I have purchased off eBay for my project. This Ant Miner L3 Plus will be my solar mining. I want to see if it's still of any use of tall by eliminating my utility bill and run it straight out of solar system. Drum roll everybody, without further ado, this is what you have been waiting for. Let's bring out the top star of today meet, Ant Miner versus Best Tech. In this corner, you have the Best Tech 1200 watt power inverter, two smart USB port DC volts, 5 volts, a smart LCD screen, a silent cooling fan, Advanced multiple protection, replaceable four fuse, and a current peak up to 1800 watts. And here's a power supply for the hand miner. Now, if you are new to the channel and you have never seen a hand miner set up before, just give you a quick demonstration for those. For you guys that have been mining all your life, or from 2016 when this thing just come out, you already know how to do this. So to set up the hand miner, it's simple. 
these are little pins and there is eight of them on the hashing board inside the hand miner is these are called hashing boards it is simple clip these pin Alright, so it's the internet cable is plugged in, power cable is plugged in, and all of the hashing plugs are properly seated. Properly plugged in, and the, the one extra one, I'll just put it right there. This end of the wire I'm going to plug into the inverter. I already set up the inverter on the wall over there. Let's see if I can show you the picture right. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to plug this extension right here. So once I plug it in here, man, this thing is loud. In post production, I have lowered the sound because there is no way in good conscience I could have that sound playing in your ears while you're watching the video. While those numbers jumping all over the place, we are going to move to the computer to set up this thing, find the hand miner IP address, then place it into your web bar, something looking like this. Username and password is the same thing, root and root. So then you're going to head over to one of your favorite pool. Up first, I will be using Ant Pool. I'm going to mine light kind here for 24 hours and look at the result. After running the Ant Miner for 24 hours, no overclocking. Nothing at all, just from the box. You can see the waveform here where um, the hashing is up and down all over the place. Nevertheless, I have made this amount in light kind, which equivalent to 49 cent in my light kind wallet. We will now go over to Nice Hash where we will sign up, build our own account and start to mine here for 24 hours and see what the results a nice hash even though this machine will be mining a light kind we will get paid out with bitcoin so we are going to see what these results offer in 24 hours so how about nice hash it was still more of the same you can see the payments as you can see the graph where the payment is all over the place but the hashing is stable and you can see those falling off of hashing which means you get paid out in bitcoin every two to three hours on nice hash but the only difference over nice hash i have made 73 cents in bitcoin rather than 49 cents in light kind. Upon recording this video, you can see at the graph here some kinds are not doing good, some are dropping off, some are up, some are down. They're pretty much all over the place at this point in time. So I was told that there was a new firmware upgrade over by ASIC FW IO. So we're going to quickly grab it and do an upgrade of this ant mine. And see if there is any difference in mining. I have downloaded that new brand or firmware. You want to go back to your hand miner, go into configuration, look for that part rated upload. Upload the brand new firmware and it will take a little while. Once the firmware has taken its time and upgrade and hand miner see it, it will reboot itself. Once it reboots itself, you have a way lot more configuration, the system, manual configuration, manual status, network, administrative, monitored, and upgrade and reboot. 
once you go in to manual configuration now where we want to go to overclock this at minor you want to go into advanced setting and in advanced setting you can see you have those four hashing board and a global setting we want to set this here to the required amount of overclocking you want no we do not want to go into the red we can go into the red but at this moment i wanted to run some other tests before i damage this and minor and of course i want to make back my money before i can do any excessive overclocking so I'm gonna stick with 419 mega hash this moment. So we want to set all these board at 419, 412 to keep it safe. You press save and apply. Save and apply. And here the ant miner would add up that changes and reboot itself again. So in all these cool features, there is a chip. So this new firmware show you all the chips. Now we have just reboot the miner so everything become red. Once the miner city changes, it should start rectify and show you if it's good to stay at 419, 412 or it's not. So you can see right here it's running out itself so everything is yellow and yellow mean ideal green mean ideal yellow mean of ideal red mean 50 percent of ideal green mean ideal the chips are rendering out their self to get the best result so soon if everything here become green that means it's good to go and we're going to just wait a little while and make everything run and out itself. Because of this new firmware, the miner is automatic tuning itself to the new overclocking. So basically, it finished right now, so it's all good. So from here, the miner is working fine and it's mining at the new overclocking that I put in. So. I'm going to go over all that I've done the next 24 hours and see if there is any changes in my mining. If it's increased, if the ashing rate is normal, I know the payments is going to be still up and down because Bitcoin is moving up and down. It doesn't have a steady payment. So the payment is going to be up and down all over the place. But I know the hashing will be all right. So let's check on the hashing. This ant mine is supposed to hash in at least 504 mega hash. So we're gonna go back here and go back to mining status. And in mining status, you can see my mega hash move up to 542.68. So 542 mega hash. And if you also notice, the miner keep on refreshing itself every 15 seconds. So you don't have to refresh the page for yourself to see what the miner doing. It is already refreshing itself over and over. Down here you can see, kilowatt, this and miner, run at 800 kilowatts you can see it drop right down to 708 kilowatts i will go back to the inverter that running this machine and see if it's still same 708 kilowatts it might not give me that same amount by the inverter so with the new software upgrade i'm getting this pull from the inverter it's a steady drop 